A mother walks in on her worst nightmare when she finds her daughter dead and her husband injured, stabbed in their own home. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Tonight, police are searching for the suspect who once lived at that house as a foster child. KTLA 5's David Begno live in Murrieta with the details. David? He's wounded, he's on the run, and he's got to know by now that police everywhere are looking for him. Here's a family that took this young man in. They gave him food, they gave him a place to live, they even called him one of their own. And what did he do? He allegedly came back this morning and tried to kill them. I want them to find him and shoot him. But I'm sorry, when I took the knife away last night, I didn't kill him with it. It's hard to understand how Catherine Burke could even stand on her feet tonight less than 24 hours after she went through a living hell. I came downstairs and saw my child dead. And I had to take the gun, the knife from, from the guy that killed her. And then he got another one and he was stabbing my husband and her boyfriend. And I, I had to get the, the knife from them too. Catherine's husband, Paul, was nearly beaten to death and stabbed too. When we ran in, Jeremy and John Sennett, son and father, live right across the street. They heard the screams at 4 a.m. this morning and came running. But you saw him beating the father. Yeah. Hitting the father, mm -hmm. and when we rushed in there, he took off. He took off the back way. Having lived here before, he knew how to get out through the backyard, leaving behind the father and a 17-year-old young man who was the boyfriend of 18-year-old Saskia. All three had been stabbed. The men survived, but Saskia died in her own house trying to defend herself. And she died in pain. She died screaming for us to help her. And by the time we got there, he'd already murdered her. As of now, police have no motive. The 19-year-old suspect, William Gary Simpson Jr., showed up at the home in Marietta at 3 a.m. Tuesday morning dressed in a ninja outfit. He was a one-time foster child here, but last year had been asked to leave the home for reasons that are unknown. As for why he came back, no one knows that either. And I really hope that his parent, who is a police officer, and his mother, who did such a lousy job raising him, can take a look at themselves and realize what they created. Catherine calls her one-time foster child selfish and arrogant. A young man she once called a part of the family, now accused of wrecking hers and taking the life of a daughter she fought so hard to try and save. And I don't know how to go. Even one moment, I don't know how to go without her. Your heart really goes out to her tonight. The two men stabbed are expected to survive. The killer left a trail of blood leading from the home. Police tonight don't know if he's still in the area or if he's left town. But if you know where he is, pick up the phone and call police anywhere. We're live tonight in Marietta. I'm David Begno, KTLA 5 News.